This is the best part of Texas, and, and Fredericksburg is probably the best part of the best part of Texas. Today, uh, Fredericksburg Main Street is nothing but uh, shops. Uh, one thing I like about Fredericksburg is that normally it's a quiet town. After 5 p.m. in the afternoon, they roll up the sidewalks on Main Street. Except on some weekends, it, it's uh, a pretty loud, uh, uh, boisterous. I'm a veteran of World War II. The island assault reenactment, it has a real value. We should remember as we watch these uh, reenactments, the sacrifices that have been made so that we may maintain the freedom we have. My name's Jeff Hunt. I'm the curator of collections and the director of the Living History Program at the Admiral Nimitz National Museum of the Pacific War. The Nimitz Museum exists to honor the men and women who served in the Pacific Theater of World War II and to teach the lessons of that period of history to our citizens today so that they can use those lessons to be better citizens of our country and of, of the world. What you guys are looking at here is a diorama that we built depicting the Doolittle Raid on Japan. As you know, for the first six months of the Pacific War, every place we fought the Japanese, they beat us. One of the, the best things about being the curator of collections is that I get to meet the veterans and their families. I get to receive their artifacts into our collection, touch those pieces of history, and then turn around and put on this uniform and, and educate people about that history. And as far as I'm concerned, I've got the best job in the whole world. Good morning. My name's Jeff Hunt. I'm director of the Living History Program here at the Admiral Nimitz National Museum of the Pacific War. In World War II, every Japanese officer would have carried one of these things. This, of course, is the famous samurai sword, the weapon of the ancient Japanese warrior class. What we're really trying to show people out here is the brutal reality of infantry combat as it existed in the Pacific Theater of World War II. We'll talk to you today about the Thompson submachine gun. This is the model 1928A1. We're bringing to life something they've only seen in movies or documentaries. We're trying to give them a sense of the power behind a tank or a flamethrower or even an infantryman's rifle. This is the BAR, Browning Automatic Rifle, 30 caliber. There are many like it, but this one is mine. We are able to bring into the here and now the physical presence, the smell, the sound of what infantry combat was like. We make it something alive. That's why it's called living history. This matter here, I will now demonstrate firing of the BAR. My name is Ned Smith. I was a senior grade lieutenant in Naval Air Transport Service. The uh, Naval Air Transport, their mission was to transport both personnel and materials to the uh, war zone. Uh, when I graduated from high school, some of my classmates went uh, directly into the military. But within a very short period of time, we get a report they're missing in action. Uh, lost in action, you know, uh, so that uh, uh, even though we felt indispensable, there were some of us that were, were, were not going to come back, uh, you know, to uh, the civilian life that we had left. So. The National Museum of the Pacific War here in Fredericksburg is, is really important primarily for the youth uh, that have heard nothing about World War II, or some get a little bit of, of history in, in school, 
but not to the depth that they should. Youth should never forget the, the sacrifices made by those uh, that have fought uh, both in Europe and, and in the Pacific Theater. Island Assault 1944 is the Living History program put on here five or six weekends out of the year by the Living History Detachment of the museum. At an island assault demonstration, we, we basically have all the weapons on the field that participated in those last two horrific years of the Pacific War. Uh, we want to hit people in the face with the, the brutal reality of what infantry combat is. You know, you know, infantry combat is about killing and it's about destruction, and it's about being better at those things than your enemy, because it's only by killing him that you come home. It's only by killing him that you take islands, and only by taking islands that you won that war. And we want our visitors to walk away having learned that what they see in the movies, and the video games, and the comic book is not the truth. You know, you, you look at the age of these young reenactors, and, and many of them are, are about the same age of, of those that were uh, serving during World War II. And it brings me back to thinking about the sacrifices made uh, by many of my friends at uh, giving up their lives uh, so that uh, we could have what we have in uh, our way of life. Myself, all the volunteers who are part of this program are out here because they want to honor the veterans for what they did. They want to educate the public about what the veterans did so that people can go off and take that knowledge and be better citizens. Uh, great show. Thank you. Appreciate it. You know that you've done it right when a veteran comes up to you after one of these shows. And sometimes you can just tell from the look in their eye and their handshake that you have done right by them that you've told it the way it was, you've told the truth, and you have told those men and women, thank you for what you did for mankind.